Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a curl origin first impression. I was thinking about what to start with and I decided to go with the curl origin because it mentioned having protein and it mentioned insane moisture and my hair could probably have done with both. So here we are. <laughs> this is a sister line for She Scented and it really reminds me of She Scented. It's just a little bit richer, so a little bit more like emollients, like maybe butters and stuff, but not too much because I can't take too much. That's why I even use like She Scented and Blue Rose and like really light products because like the slightest amount of too much butters and stuff and it just sits on my hair. This line is supposed to be for highly textured hair. If you thought she said it was too light for you, I would definitely recommend giving Curl Origin a try. But it doesn't say type 4 or anything and it mentions curly or coily. And I really think it's also still pretty light. So she said it is very light and this one is light but a little bit creamier. So if it depends on my hair, nobody else should have any problems to tell you the truth because I think I have the lowest porosity here in the world, <laughs> at least of anybody I know. So it's definitely not heavy. So no matter how fine your hair is or like wavy or whatever, you shouldn't have any problems with this line. I think she said it mentions kind of all hair types, like even relaxed, straight, wavy and so on. So maybe this is just for curlies. I'm not really sure what the distinction is, but I know that um, even though it says highly textured, like you can see that it still mentions curly and so on. I tried half of what I got, so I got four items and I tried two. Starting off on freshly cold washed hair, starting with the deep conditioner. Smells really good and it's rich and creamy as you can see. So I just apply it all over. You guys kind of know the drill, so I'll fast forward through it because I have a lot of hair. But I apply it all over and just work it in. My hair just felt so soft, like so silky, I don't know, it felt really, really good and it was super moisturized. The slip is there as you can see, it was just pretty much a happy wash day. Once I'm finished working in the deep conditioner, I just let it sit for half an hour and then I rinse it out. Then I apply the leave-in and the styler. So this is my hair, this is just with the deep conditioner rinse, this section. And I'm going to apply the leave-in conditioner, which I also loved. I think it's great for winter because it's just super moisturizing. And it's rich and creamy and smells great. <laughs> Again, work it in. I rake, I squish, squeeze, etc. until it's all worked in. So you can see the definition and it's moisturized and I was just so happy with the performance of this product as you can see. After that I apply my styler and that's it. So the first item that I tried was this Maracuja Deep Recovery Conditioner. Let me show you the ingredients. So it does contain quite a bit of protein but it's still very moisturizing. So if you want to get your protein and moisture in one shot definitely recommend this deep conditioner and this line in general. I do have products with protein but I haven't really been keeping track of them that's why I just try to do my protein treatments. I love and slacking off on that too but having something with like strengthen and growing the name kind of makes it easy to remember oh yeah that one is the protein because usually I forget which ones have protein PJ problems and you either have to like reach each and everyone to figure out which ones have protein or you know. <laughs> Or not no basically. This kind of solves that problem for me, so I'm really happy about that. I know she sounds is really like amazing and sane for penetration. This curl origin is amazing and sane for penetration and it gives you a little bit more of that butters and emollients. This is about to be a new staple for me, so I did buy a bit. <laughs> I bought a bit. <laughs> okay, I bought like two of everything except the protein treatment. I bought two deep conditioners, 
two of this deep conditioner, two of the other deep conditioner, and two leave-in. So it'll definitely be representing in my stash for 2018. The scents are also pretty similar to she scented like a light fruity candy smell. So I really like the scents as well. And this is the texture of the deep conditioner. It is pretty thick. I think the she scented which moisture would run out. So no running. I think that's one of the first things I noticed. And even the texture in here, it is pretty thick. I mean, it's light. It's definitely light. But it still is kind of thick. I can feel how creamy it is. But it still penetrates really well, which of course is a must for me. But it ain't going in, it ain't going in. And this gives me instant moisture and softness. So I would add a disclaimer that I didn't shampoo this time. I have to do better in my shampooing. So either I make sure I dilute them or just not shampoo as often. Because I've been reviewing a lot of deep conditioners. I like to shampoo before I deep condition with a new one to really test it. But I can't have all that amount of shampoo in my life. So I'm scaling back. So I will definitely try this after shampooing. And let you guys know. So look out for that. But hydrating, super hydrating, great slip, great definition, great moisture. I could feel it being nice and buttery. My hair felt kind of like silky, velvety. Like my hair never felt that nice before. So I don't know, like usually it feels soft, but I kind of lose all texture. Like it just, maybe I'm feeling a deep conditioner, but this one I could actually feel my hair and my hair felt nice. It was weird. It was good. So I definitely love this. This is definitely a winner, definitely a new staple, definitely repurchasing it. It does have, like I mentioned, three proteins, although they're at the very bottom. Hydrolyzed wheat protein, hydrolyzed quinoa protein, and hydrolyzed keratin. So if you're protein sensitive, I'll definitely tread lightly. But this didn't make my hair hard at all. It has honey, like raw honey, high in the ingredients list. And it definitely felt moisturizing to me. This is the other product I used this wash day from Curl Origin, the Maracuja Rich Moisture Hair Milk. So I used this as a leave-in and I was a little bit concerned because usually they all say like definition, definition, poppity pop and the description didn't really mention that. It mentioned moisturize and strengthen dry damaged hair. So I was looking for the moisturize, I was looking for the protein because I haven't done protein in a while but I was a little nervous because me and hair milks are kind of iffy and it, and it didn't even say definition so I was like is it going to frizz out my hair or not. Turns out I had nothing to worry about. My hair was really moisturized, soft and hydrated and it had good definition. So I'm definitely recommending this and I'm definitely going to add this to my winter staples. So I'm putting it in my winter staples because it doesn't have glycerin. Of course I can use it year round as well but I mean I'm going to be using it right now because it's glycerin free so I can just hit the road running with this. So these are the ingredients. So as you can see, it's just all good stuff. It has my honey, it has my aloe vera. It also has some hydrolyzed wheat protein at the bottom. So I probably wouldn't make this my only line just because the line is like strengthen and grow and they all contain protein. So I'm not sure what using it every week would do, but since I don't use anything every week anyway, I'm fine. And I, I don't use anything more than probably once a month or something. So me putting this in probably once a month or something most likely should be fine for my hair but just a caution if you are one of those great happy people who can live off just a few products maybe you would want to rotate this line with something just because it's a strength and grow line and everything has protein in it so this is this is how it looks Ooh, i forget like it comes out more than you would think i'm putting some of that back <laughs> So as you can see, it did kind of run, but it's definitely not as runny as the typical she scented. So this is the consistency. You can see it's kind of white, kind of creamy. Um, let me try to put some of it on my hand so you can see how it goes in. So you can see it like works in really nicely. And I don't know, my skin just feels amazing and my hair just felt amazing. It just felt loved after. So I definitely enjoyed using this product. That same nice, light, candy-ish, fruity -ish scent. It is probably just a little lighter than the She Scented scent. So maybe it's the same, I don't know. It's been a minute, I guess. But I love the scents as well. This is my hair after that wash day. I used the deep conditioner and then I used the leave-in. And this is in there. So I do have a gel on top of it, so it's not like this is just a leave-in. But it definitely moisturized my hair and the moisture is definitely sticking around, so yay for that. So I'm a totally, completely happy camper right now. It was just a perfect 
doings, perfect doings. It was like instant moisture, instant hydration, instant softness. It spread really easily, great slip, and it did a good job of definition my hair. Like both of them really popped my curls. The deep conditioner really popped my curls and the leave-in really popped my curls. So I wasn't mad at all. And I'm super happy because I found a new line, a new line to love, a new yay line, a new yes line, a new staple line. We're gonna be seeing this some more. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> Let me see if I can I can't even think of anything bad to say about this. I really can't even think of anything bad to say about it. The only, the only bad thing I can say about this is that I didn't get a free sample. I didn't get any free samples with my Black Friday haul. So usually, at least with She Sends It, I usually get like a free something something. I guess she likes me. But yeah, I didn't get anything, anything free. <laughs> That's the only bad thing I can say about this is I didn't get anything free in the package. Like not a free product, not even a free sample. But I didn't get anything free from any of the brands I tried this year. So I think maybe they're just being very competitive in the sale numbers because the sales were really good this year, like 40%, 50%. Maybe that's why we're not getting as many samples. So it took me a couple minutes to think of something and that's all I got for you. No freebies, but the products are like really top quality. And I can't wait to use them more and I definitely recommend them. <laughs> so that's it for my little mini dive into Curl Origin. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you tried Curl Origin yet. If not, you're missing out. Try it. Get you some. you love it. I don't ever steer you wrong. Try it out. Let me know what you think. And if you've tried it already, definitely let me know. I know at least a couple of my subbies mentioned that they tried some of it and they loved it and they can't wait to try more. That seems to be where everybody's at. So this line has been out for over a year. I remember when it came out but I guess I had so many other things on my radar that I am only now getting to this Black Friday. But I wish I had gotten to it sooner. It's that good. I'm kind of like kicking myself now. But better late than never. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Look out for a lot more product reviews, a lot more content. Subscribe for more. Click the notification bell so you won't miss anything. See you in the next one. Bye.